the championship is almost at an end. The Eliminator is the final leg, and our women have been exceptional. Right now, Peggy Odita will get an eight-second head start on Kimberly Tyler, and one wonders if the aerospace physiologist has enough left in reserve to pull out a come-from-behind victory. She's with Lisa. Kimberly, coming from behind is not something you are used to. How have you prepared for this? Well, I'm just going to go out and try and do the best I can. She's a great athlete. If I catch her, it's going to be a miracle. <laughs> and it will take a magnificent effort on the part of Kim Tyler to win this thing because between the two, Peggy Odiga possesses the far superior Eliminator time. And the Eliminator is brought to you by Combo Snacks. Combo's the one snack that's twice as good. Kim Tyler's motto, if you think you can do something, then it can be done. She has the will. Can't she come from behind? Both gals have had trouble with the treadmill. So we've got a long way to go yet. Peggy's struggling on the hand bike. She's hung up there for a second, costing herself some valuable time, and down she goes. That is a 10-second penalty down there. That could be the break Kim was looking for. Indeed it is. Sky giving her a boost back up, and now Kimberly Tyler has done it. Oh, she goes across the cylinder. Side by side, they go up the cargo net. Kimberly Kim took a peek her... at Peggy to see where she was. And Kimberly lost her footing there for a second. We teach the contenders to go hand over hand up a single line, but with the adrenaline pumping so much, finesse goes out the window. Peggy O now, the first over the wall. Oh, look at her power her way up that treadmill. She has done it. She is on her way. She did it! She's our grand champion, Peggy Odita from Columbus, Ohio. Her time, one minute and 23 seconds. Kim Tyler will finish it out to a thunderous applause. I said it at the beginning of the show, Lisa, and I'll say it again. Two of the most magnificent female athletes that we've ever had here on the American Gladiators. Peggy, I'm smiling here, and, I'm be I know, and I know you are happy, but you're grimacing. First of all, tell us what happened. I've been having some problems with my shoulder since the last round from the pyramid. And I got up there, and I tried to go, and something just popped. And that's when I went down. When you fell off that handbike, what was going through your mind? Did you have I some doubts? I was like, oh my gosh, no way could I lose after coming this far. This is really hard work, and I've worked really hard to get here. <laughs> well, you got it all. Congratulations. Go get some therapy now. Thank you. Congrats. Uh -oh. She was one of over 5,000 men and women that competed in our national tryouts. She went through four rounds here oh, at the American Gladiators. And now she is champion. And certainly plenty of congratulations in order for Kim Tyler. Spectacular effort. In the men's final, Wesley Berry and Troy Jackson are running on empty. What little fuel they have left is all pride. Right now, two scoops will get a seven second head start going into the eliminator. And to make matters worse for our Philadelphia scrapper, Troy Jackson, he's got a badly injured knee that's too painful maybe to come from behind. Right now, Lisa with both men at the start line. Wesley, you've got quite a challenge ahead. First the versatile, then the hand bike. Can your shoulder handle it? It's gonna have to. I'm pulling for my mother, Tanya, Antoine, and I. I'm gonna have to do it. What kind of percentage are we gonna need for this? 5,500 and then some. Go get him, Wesley. Okay, Troy. <laughs> I know you don't want to think about it at the beginning of the race, but you've got that treadmill at the end. Can your knee handle it? All I can do is give it everything that I got. And like when I came here, non-stop from beginning to end. Good luck. Two scoops, ready to give it 5,000%. And TJ, his knee more painful than it is injured. 
diagnosed as a bruise and a sprain. He has gutted it out through seven tough events. There's Tower and Turbo underneath the handbike. Wesley's sore shoulder will be tested first on the handbike, but he's looking great on the Versa climber. And TJ, you can tell that leg bothered him because you really needed it on the Versa climber. Two scoops flew oh, down the slide. No problem there. And no problem on the handbike. Wesley he said so he wanted to set a new record here in the Eliminator, Lisa. He may be on his way to breaking his own. 49 seconds. Here comes Troy. Wesley Berry, the karate instructor from Duarte, California. Looking good, looking great. He goes on and breaks the barrier first. He's our grand champion. His time, 48 seconds. And I think they're gonna let Troy go over the wall. He is trying to fight back the pain. Down he goes. Everybody up on their feet here in Gladiator Arena. This is an amazing scene. They want Troy to make this in the worst way. Look at him go, yeah, yeah. And you talk about courageous. I love it. Wesley Berry, Troy Jackson. They come from opposite coasts. One from Duarte, California the other from Philadelphia. Yet throughout this long competition, they grew to become friends. Their admiration for one another, unspeakable. Lisa's at the finish line with our grand champion. Wesley, that shoulder must have come on strong for this eliminator because you broke your fastest time today. <laughs> I feel good, Jess. Uh... <laughs> Said a little prayer that my shoulder would hold up, and God came through and put it through for my family and my fiance Tanya in Los An I mean in San Diego, my son Antoine and I, and my mother, and all my two scoop fans. <laughs> what kind of percentage did it take to get through this? Eight thousand. <laughs> oh baby, that was so fun. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, Troy. You didn't finish in first place, but you are definitely a winner in all of our hearts. I want to know how you're feeling at this point. How's the knee and how's the heart and head? I'm ready to go back to Philly. <laughs> Marquise, I'm on my way home. I love you, son. What you had fun? coming home. Yeah. The American Gladiators bringing the best out in everybody. Our fanfare for the common man.